me share with you something about this subject of the power of an attitude. You know, on earth there are two animals which the creator identifies with, and that is the eagle and the lion. Of course, I would quote many scriptures in support of this statement, but then I want us to think for a moment, what is it about these two creatures that makes them the Almighty's favorite? And when you make a close study, you will discover that these two animals are the kings in their domain. Of course, the ego is the king in the bird kingdom, and the lion is the ruler of the jungle. And I want us to talk about the lion for a moment. See, the lion has a spirit of leadership. And that's why despite it not being the tallest or the smartest, the others will still run away when it shows up. And so you see, a leader has to have an attitude that makes him different from its followers. You know, one late Dr. Miles Monroe says that an army of sheep being led by a lion will defeat an army of lions being led by a sheep. And the answer to that mystery is a strong leadership can transform coward followers into violent warriors. And I want us to imagine for a moment what will happen when this army of lions being led by a sheep meets the other side where the lion is the follower. And guess what will happen? The answer is obvious. The sheep will be the first to run away and then its followers will follow suit. And so you see, a lion is a leader because of its attitude, what it, what it believes it is. And that's my point. Attitude is the root cause of our belief system. It starts with imagining what you are and then the picture that you set for yourself and then having the right attitude to embrace it. And so you see, with the right type of attitude, we can be the change we want to be. And so in my challenge for you in these minutes is that have a positive attitude so that you may have what you've pictured for yourself. And so attitude is the 100% reflection of success as its numerical acronym reflects 100%. So that's my minutes.